Now, an extraordinary discovery has been made in the US state of North Dakota. A fossil of a dinosaur leg, stunningly preserved, but scientists think the dinosaur was killed on the very day a giant asteroid struck the Earth 66 million years ago, which, of course, ended the reign of the dinosaurs and began the rise of mammals on our planet. Well, joining me now is Professor Phil Manning, the director of the Interdisciplinary Centre for Ancient Life at the University of Manchester, who's been working on this discovery for eight years. Uh, really great to talk to you, Professor Manning. Um, so it, we've, we've got a picture of the, of the dinosaur leg, but my understanding is that it's actually fish that were also in that dinosaur area uh, and, and what is in those fish's gills that is the key thing. Is that right? Yes, a couple of years ago, we published a paper which narrowed down the age of the site um, to link with the impact of that that ended the age of the dinosaurs. So we'll, that, that was a slam dunk. And they were loving the, 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 excuse me, the, the data that was, was, was coming out of, of this particular site. And one of the most exciting things uh, about this is that we thought, well, we can't get better than fish. Fish interacting with ejected from the actual impact event. How amazing. But then Robert and the team last summer, when they were excavating, and we had a camera crew out with us, so you can actually see it coming out of this, this layer of rock, these remarkable remains of what is effectively a mummified dinosaur, where the skin is beautifully preserved as impressions over the leg and around the bones. And I, I've never seen anything quite as beautiful as this particular dinosaur's leg in my life. Wow. And, and, and it is beautiful nevertheless, but the thing that, that people are focusing on is the dating of it and the, and the fact that you're able to date it so accurately. How are you able to do that? Well, if you can imagine if something the size of Mount Everest smashes into the earth at 60,000 miles per hour, it tends to do a lot, a lot of damage and it vaporizes cubic miles of, of Earth's crust. And as it's blasted into the atmosphere, it cools down rapidly into these little droplets of glass we call microspherals. These were blasted around the planet and they landed at the Tanis site, just as a shock wave was hitting the site from the impact event. So we've got a mixture of impact ejecture as it was raining down from the heavens into this, this, this ecosystem of the Hell Creek Formation. And it's encapsulated in this one and a half meter thick deposit. And the top of it is got this very distinctive chemical signature of an element called iridium, which is a platinum group element. And that is what nails the actual date of this particular package of sediment. So we've got ejector being blasted throughout this one and a half meter depth of sediment. And on top of it, you've got the iridium anomaly that dates it perfectly to be on the last day of the dinosaurs. And how did it feel when you realized that that was the actual date you were looking at and that you actually had this crucial bit of information? Utterly gobsmacked. I mean, you can't dream of finding such remarkable localities, anywhere on the planet. And the, the student working on this, Robert De Palma, who's doing, done some amazing fieldwork, is a very, very thorough scientist. And it's a pleasure working with him. In fact, you can see his trousers just there in the picture. Um, but, but Robert has done some phenomenal work on this. And it's through his tenacity and his careful nature of picking through this deposit that we've been able to sort of retell this story. And it's, and it's wonderful that as a professor, I learn so much from my students. And it's a pleasure to see a student doing so well. And, and we've got all this fantastic footage. There's going to be a documentary broadcast about it, but it, it's also important to get it peer-reviewed, isn't it? How is that all going? Oh, well, we've had a peer-reviewed paper in PNES a couple of years ago where we had the dating of the site and everything was constrained. That was really good. We had a paper a few months ago, actually, in Nature Scientific Reports, which dates the impact event of just about spring to early summertime. There are papers coming out. Also. We've got two abstracts which are coming out um, in three weeks' time at the European uh, Geological Union meeting in Vienna. And, we, we, and Robert was presenting on this at NASA last night in a colloquium lecture. So we're pushing the data out as much as we can in as multiple formats as we can. The nice thing is the dating has been done. The site is, is well and truly um, established as being a KPG boundary site. But what's new is the fact we're getting dinosaur remains out of there. Thankfully... You know, you see a mini, it's a mini. You see a Land Rover, it's a Land Rover. You see a chicken, it's a chicken. This is a dinosaur, and I can see it's a dinosaur. Sometimes you don't need statistics to show that it's a dinosaur. And in this case, 
the, the, there was a film crew filming as we were excavating the site, telling the already published story on the date. So now they got an extra bonus of a rather beautiful dinosaur. Well, it's fantastic uh, that you are so excited about it and jolly well done for being involved in this research. Professor Phil Manning, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you.